Hello, my darlings. Happy Friday to everybody and welcome to a speedboat. I know you were expecting something a little bit different, a little challenge video, shall I say, but I didn't want to do it. I just didn't. I was too inspired from the newest little stuff pack that we've got, the Crystal Creation stuff pack that I need to say thank you to EA for giving me a code for. I very much appreciate it. And I didn't want to be on camera today because why is that? The cold that I had didn't really go away because it's still here lingering and I feel and look like a big bag of poo. So that is the reasons for it. And I thought, what can I do? Let's build a little crystal and jewellery shop in the world of Hemford on Bagley. And this is what I've been and gone and done. So this is it. This is a little crystal shop and a jewellery shop with a little workshop at the back. But it's also got an area for your sim to live in as well. A little two bedroom house just off to the side of it. And I really wanted to build this in like very quintessential kind of British sort of high street looking store. So those amazing windows from the for rent pack came in really handy, especially in that lovely green that we've used them in. I thought they looked really marvellous with this. And yeah, I just decided to bring this out today. I did give away a code today in the community tab here on YouTube. And um, that will go, that will be the same for every new pack as well. Once I get a giveaway code from EA, we will do it together as a community rather than giving everybody else the chance. <laughs> we need to stick to our own, don't we, darling? So that's what we did. So congratulations to the wonderful person that managed to nab that this morning. Now I have built this recorded this and everything all in one day um so i'm unsure if this is going to go up on to up on in time it might do because it's a very short speed build today this just came together really really easily for me and i absolutely love playing around with the gameplay as well i'm really I'm, i don't go to say this very often but i'm actually really ple pleasantly surprised with that stuff pack i think it's really really nice i've had an absolute ball with it and some of the uh jewelry designs are actually really really cute as well so uh, hats off this is a really good stuff pack more of this please because the last stuff pack that chef hustle one was really good as well so i would like to see more of this please sims team yes i would indeed so with the little house it has got a lovely back garden area as well where i do put the gemstone charging unit in when you can put them out in the lunar moon and charge up your gemstones which is what i do in real life because i am an absolute slut for some um crystals i i just uh, just think about them i've always been drawn to rocks and crystals since i was younger does anybody remember specifically in the uk um does anybody remember getting that magazine that you got free well it wasn't free it was every week and you would get a different gemstone with it and it would come in a little plastic box that you could put up on your shelf and stuff. Ever since then, I've been fascinated with them. And I just love the the benefits of having crystals. I am a believer in that kind of thing. I really, really do believe in crystals. And I felt benefits throughout my life from having crystals around me. So I'm just going on my own experiences, loves. Oh, can you hear my voice, by the way? I sound very, very deep today. Um, I've been absolutely coughing my head off. I can't believe I fooled myself to thinking I was, like, better. Then I go away for a weekend, come back, and I've still got it. I was fuming. I really was. But anyway, what were we waffling on about? Probably nothing interesting. But anyway, here we go. So, a bit of landscaping, loves. Trees. I really wanted to melt this little lot into the world of Hemphedon Bagley. So you can see it is a residential lot, but I did do a little kind of, like area off to the right hand side of it where i've put some benches and stuff and some bins around i also put a little fountain at the back here as well and i just think that helps blend an otherwise really small lot into the world quite nicely so that's what i went and went and did and i was watching a film while i was doing this as well i was watching meet joe black i always forget how much i love that film it's such a lovely film it really is um and yeah, I was watching that. And I think that is the hottest that Brad Pitt has ever looked. I, I'm sorry, but he was absolutely gorgeous in that film. And I felt myself getting distracted while I was building this today because he was very beautiful. So we're putting in some final details at the front here. I just wanted to chuck in a few more details. So a nice bit of signage, a nice little plant pot, a welcome mat, of course. And I put up some more um, flowers up on the top of the 
side of the building as well. So using those hanging baskets. I'm getting out in the garden tomorrow. I'm prepping my garden because it is spring. Well, it's not. I'm just saying it is. Well, it kind of is. First of March. I'm going to say it's spring now. And I need to prep the garden for the summer because I want to start growing some lovely flowers. I really do. I really want to try my hand at some dahlias this year. If anybody's got any um, advice on growing dahlias, then please let me know down in the comments. Um, I think I'm going to try and grow them from seed. We have got a little greenhouse, so maybe I will give it a go. I would like to try just a bit like as a learning curve. But yeah, I would like to give it a go. Spring is here. Let's get to it. So this, I love this little patio area. I actually get rid of a bit of the patio and go for a little bit more of some grassy moments at the back as well. And this is the greenhouse going in. I really wanted to get a little small greenhouse here as well. Lovely little area for gameplay because with that crystal creation stuff pack, it does come with like a, a selling table, like a yard sale table. So you can live and sell on the same lot that you live on. So that is very exciting. So when I was player testing this today, um, I, that's what I was doing. And they were absolutely loving it. They were coming in at the fr um, the bucket load, darlings, and buying all my crystals and jewellery. It was, it's a really, really nice pack. I'm very, very, I don't know. I like seeing something that you can make there and then sell it on your home lot. I think it's really, really interesting. And I think that's why I loved um, the Chef Hustle pack so much as well, because it had that kind of vibe with it as well. So very nice. Just all round lovely, lovely pack. And I don't say that very often because, as we know, very often the packs are not very, very nice. I've disliked quite a few of them, to be honest with you. Um, and, yeah, anyway, there we go. If you do go and buy a pack, I, I never say this very much, but I do have a creator code. It is Bumpkin, B-U-M-P-K-I-N. And a little bit of the uh, money from that pack does go to me personally. Now, I wish it was a kind of... Uh, discount code for you guys that's what i always thought it was when it came out but it's not it comes to me but then again it helps me out you know it helps my channel out it helps me keep going with this job so if you do use it thank you very much and i know there has been a lot of you that has used it so thank you so much my darlings it, it, it is very appreciated it really is uh, so with this little greenhouse, I wanted to add in some taller of the like sort of vertical planters on one side because it kind of acts as a little bit of privacy from the front area, which is very much on the main street in the village of Hemfordon Bagley. I cannot wait to get here. I'm so excited. We've got one more week of um, my dream home, the farmhouse next week, and then it's onwards to Let's Build the World Hemfordon Bagley. So it's going to be, I'm going to go about it a bit differently this time. I'm going to make a few of the main characters and I'm going to introduce them. And I'm going to tell you the very, very um, kind of rosemary and time happenings that has been going on in Hemfordon Parkley with the murder of the Lord. I'm not going to tell you his um, name just yet, but um, yeah. A very much murder mystery we're gonna have to work it out together oh no obviously because it's my story but i'm really looking forward to kind of putting that aspect into this safe fire was going to be very very nice indeed but anyway into the interiors you can obviously see i've already put on the the flooring sorry i've got a hiccup the flooring and the wallpapers and stuff i used that lovely new wallpaper that came with the new pack uh, it's really cute it's lovely comes in some really nice swatches as well i was worried about a few of the furniture pieces because i saw in the kind of um advertisement that uh, they were using the garish colors once again the purples and blah, blah 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 but you'll be pleased to know that there are a lot of really nice swatches and a lot of them are kind of neutral as well which is very very nice indeed but i wanted this to reflect on a lot of the kind of sort of the kind of sort of um crystal shops and sort of witch shops that i've got around me in devon um there are lots one of them is one of my favorites is up in boss castle and it's a very very lovely crystal shop i've bought quite a few pieces from there and i wanted it to kind of feel that way so it's very oldy worldy and lots of darker woods and stuff but it's just got like a glow and an ambience in here and that's what I really wanted. I didn't know how to work those kind of busts. You can see that I've put up on the shelf there. I thought I was able to put jewellery and stuff on them. I don't know if that's the case. There must be something that I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I was doing wrong. But um, yeah, for some reason I couldn't do it. And I have no idea why. So maybe someone else can help out with that. 
this is the little back bit. So there's a little workshop at the back. And I wanted them to have this right on the lot in the shop itself. You can see I put bars on the window at the back here. Those two windows that I put bars on because there's very precious jewels in here. And you don't want no one climbing through the window and nicking them, do they? So I am... Um, yeah, just really, really nice little room. But I did want to have that kind of shop and workshop kind of vibe with this little build. I really did. And it came together quite nicely. I think I built this within under two hours, which is very good for me. I'm normally a very, very slow builder. But this just came together really fast for me. I was very inspired. We're into the house now. So I really wanted a little eclectic mix of different colours here and there. But I did want to still make it feel like a little cottage and we go for that kind of vibe in here. Using that new sofa as well. The new sofa's okay. I think the shape could have been a little bit better. I feel the back is a little bit too high. That's very fussy, but I am fussy. Um, and some of the swatches are a bit... Ugh, but other than that, I do like it. I probably may utilise it in other areas and other houses and stuff. But for now, it's just okay. It really is. And then upstairs, because I put a chimney on the house, I wanted to get a fireplace in this lot. Downstairs, it didn't work having a fireplace down there. So I decided to have a big bedroom and a very small single bedroom. And I put the fireplace up in this bedroom. This bedroom just feels really cozy to me. I had to change out that rug and size it down because when I was player testing everything, I made my sim go up and light the fire and automatically straight away it caught fire to that bloody rug. I just, for goodness sake, it... I've got rugs near my fireplace and they never catch fire. It doesn't need to happen every time in The Sims, for goodness sake. But anyway, small single bedroom, really self-explanatory. Maybe it's one of the jeweler's friends who come over and stay and they've got a lovely room and then a bathroom. And now I'm going to go and drink tea and honey because my voice is hurting. I'll see you all on Tuesday. Have a lovely weekend.